Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 247 here with 247 Fusion Media. Uh, I came across this article and I was interested in what Zack Snyder did to convince Jared Leto to play Justice League's Joker. Thought that'd be a very interesting thing for us to uh, partake in, so... Here we go. Okay. Jared Leto's Joker is certainly a divisive take on the character. The actor and 30 Seconds to Mars frontman poured a very large amount of effort into the character of Batman's notorious arch nemesis in David Ayer's Suicide Squad. The majority of footage which Leto filmed for Suicide Squad was not included in the final cut of the film and what was left did little to endear the character, the audience. Now it seems as though Leto's Joker will get a shot at fan redemption with his inclusion in Zack Snyder's cut of 2017's Justice League. All right, that's what's up. Speaking to film junkie, <laughs> Zack Snyder spoke on pitching another turn as the Joker to Jared Leto in Justice League's Snyder Cut during multiple phone calls earlier this year. Uh, Snyder says, It was a cool conversation because when I pitched the idea, I feel like he hooked onto the why of it because there's a big why and was like, okay. And literally he said to me, we'll talk more. And then I kept calling him and we talked for a while and he agreed to do it. Hmm. That's fucking awesome. That he was just that he was just down. For as much shit as he took, he was like, you know, behind him being the Joker in 2017. When Zack Snyder stepped to him, he was like, All right, let's do it. I like that shit, man. Jared Leto's open minded, man. You know, that's what's up. Snyder continued by praising his time working with Leto. He said, I will say it was a great experience working with him. He's a gifted actor and really dedicated. He also made mention of the fact that the Joker was not a part of the story in the original pre-Josh Whedon cut of Justice League, which Snyder was developing in 2016. Hmm. What this means. It's quite intriguing that Leto's Joker didn't factor at all into Zack Snyder's original plans for Justice League, making his addition a bit of a retroactive change. After all, while Snyder says he hasn't seen the 2017 theatrical cut of, of the Justice League, he, never, he nevertheless still has the power of hindsight on his side as he compiles this new version of the movie. He has the ability to discern what was working and what wasn't from his time in the director's chair and attempt to rectify it now four years later. Okay. What's more is Snyder's claim as to the big why of Leto's Joker's involvement. Obviously Ben Affleck's Bruce Wayne Batman is a main central character in the film. Perhaps part of the story involves the two characters finally going toe to toe. Leto's Joker and Affleck's Batman have famously never gotten to fight each other in this recent slate of DC movies, let alone share a scene. The Snyder Cut of the Justice League will arrive on HBO Max in early 2021. You know, um, I want to pose this question to anybody that's, that's watching, listening. Are you excited to see Jared Leto back as the Joker? Are you excited to see what Zack Snyder has in store for this Joker that we've never seen? Shit, we didn't even get to see the Joker do his thing in the movie that he uh, premiered in with the Suicide Squad. So, are you ready to see what this new Joker, this new look Joker is going to be? It's supposed to be, um, it takes place in the timeline about three or four years after we've seen him in... Uh, the Suicide Squad. So, you know, it doesn't take place during the same time as the Suicide Squad. This is three or four years later from the first Suicide Squad movie is where this Zack Snyder's Justice League takes place. 
which means that Joker's had a chance, you know, had time to, uh, and had a chance to change, you know, supposed to be a different look, he probably grew his hair out, um, you know, has a different, uh, thing to him, I just want to see what all that's about, I mean, if you're gonna, if, you know, you're coming back, you know, you're bringing back the Joker, this part of the Joker can't be nothing but better than what we've seen of Jared Leto's Suicide Squad Joker. I'm 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 giving this shit a shot, man. And I think he's gonna fucking he's gonna have a lot of people like, whoa shit. Yeah, because finally he get to you know he'll be able to do it the way he wanted to do it. And you fucking right, this will be a second chance at redemption because he's a good actor. Joker's a damn good character. Put them both together. Round two. Let's 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 see what happens. You know, I'm down for it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit in the comment section below. You know, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you could, be so kind. Can you please hit the like button and share this video? I'd greatly appreciate it. It's your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.